for the few that watched my videos on my peach tree, um, we've been eating peaches probably for two weeks, give or take. I've given quite a few peaches to the neighbors. Um, I don't know, probably a good 50 peaches I've given the neighbors. They love them to death. They never taste anything better, they said. And uh, we ended up canning, as you can see, about 40 jars of these. You know, what I never understood with my parents is why they canned certain things. Like, they always canned pears, peaches, tomato sauce. Um, they made a little bit of jam, but not very much. And uh, I figured out why. Because it was extremely cheap what they canned, and it was all water bath. They didn't pressure cook anything. I think my mother was scared of those things. But, I mean, when you can peaches, you use a little bit of water, sugar, boil it. And uh, to keep the peaches looking pretty, there is a certain type of chemical you buy at Walmart. But um, it really was not that much work other than peeling them. And, uh, and it was fairly quick. It's been years since I canned peaches. I totally forgot what my parents had done. I had to look up stuff on the internet to do it. But we had so many peaches that were going bad. It was no choice. You had to can them. I couldn't believe how many peaches that one tree actually made. It's just amazing. I'd hate to see if I had six trees. Oh, my God. I'd been working for a week. But um, the wife and I canned them, and uh, they turned out good, as you can see. We've got all kinds of canned peaches. Um, one of my preps I've done for years, and I've done this as of, I don't know, 20 years ago, we have almost 500 mason jars, lids, everything. I bought them years ago, and... Uh, We've always had a stockpile of canning jars. It was just something in my head back then that I was thinking, you know, I may need that. And we did a little bit of canning, but we never did that much. I mean, this is the most I think we've done in a long time. Because we didn't want the peaches going bad. But when I originally put this peach tree in, and like I said in one video, for three to four years I was cutting the top off. And the bottom of the trunk widened out, which gave the tree strength. And then I cut the center out of my peach tree. And the method behind that madness is when you cut out the center and you let the branches grow out, when it rains, it allows the peach tree to dry very quickly. And three times throughout the summer, I used uh, permethrin, very light consistency with mostly water, and I sprayed the whole tree down. That prevented any bugs from eating anything. And uh, made it fairly quick to uh, clean the peaches up. But um, I would tell everybody in the spring coming up after winter, if you haven't planted a peach tree, plant two. You will be surprised at how many peaches you get. With two peach trees, if they're producing, you're probably going to end up with 200 canning jars if you could do that. But like I said, we gave quite a, quite a bit away to neighbors. We ate quite a bit for two weeks. Um, we actually still have a little bit on the tree, not much. They're, they're still ripening a little bit. We'll just eat. But um, having a peach tree is um, pretty amazing. And keep in mind when you can your peaches that you um, can enough for when you open this. This will probably stay good for a week in the fridge. There's three of us. We love peaches. So literally, we'll probably knock one of these jars off in one day. But um, one of the definite things you should probably buy and put on the shelf. Problem is, everything's going up in price. When I bought these things, they're like half the price is what they are now. And I constantly see people on Facebook posting looking for jars. You may want to try that route. But when you have some extra money... Uh, these things are worth their weight in gold. And uh, if you want to actually put some food away.
But I'm glad I bought them 20 years ago. I'm glad I planted the fruit trees. The apple tree has maybe 20 apples on it since I looked. My pear tree has not produced because I apparently need a second pear tree. But in the spring, I guess I'll plant, I don't know, maybe a couple more peaches because we love peaches. And uh, we'll go that way. And keep in mind, it does up the value of your home if you have a home. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.